What's up guys, Brett here and holy cow, have you been keeping up with the latest stocks in the EV space? If you have, you probably know what I'm about to say and hey, you might have even made a hell of a lot of money. And if you haven't, then you're gonna wanna hear me out and you're gonna wanna watch this video until the end because stocks in this space have been exploding recently. And today I'm gonna look at what might be or what could be the next Tesla stock. Now, unless you've been living under a rock recently, which I appreciate some people may have been because of coronavirus, but if you haven't, then you'll be aware that the stock market over the last seven months has been on fire. We've seen the likes of Amazon, Apple, Facebook, and Zoom take all of the headlines, and not that many people have been concentrating or keeping track on the EV space, of course, with the exception of Tesla. So let's start by taking a look at Tesla's incredible rise over the last six months before considering which other stocks could emerge and emulate what Elon Musk has done in the EV space. Also guys, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like if you think it deserves one and drop a comment down below um, to let me know what you think. So Tesla then, as most of us already know, is a company best known for producing electric vehicles and they have grown 725% in the last 12 months. That means that if you invested 10 grand in Tesla 12 months ago, you'd now be sitting on over $72,000. And that, by the way, is more than two times the average annual income. And here are the top stats to get you better acquainted with Tesla, who just last week entered the S&P 500 for the first time. They have a market cap of 420 billion, up 81 billion from the start of this year. They've reported five consecutive quarters of growth, taking in 330 million in quarter three of this year alone. They're on track to deliver over 500,000 cars this year, still way off the pace of Toyota, for example, who have over 10 million sales, but still hitting their goal. Their current PE ratio is 101, which is absolutely insane and just shows that people are valuing the company at a hell of a lot more than it's actually worth on paper today. However, Tesla are working on a lot more than just their existing electric cars. They have a solar panel business. They're working on self-driving cars as well as robo taxis as well. Also, to put this into context, the PE ratio of the S&P 500, for example, is around 14. So yeah, 101 is pretty damn high. Now, let's take a look at Tesla's competitors and the other companies within the EV space that could be the next breakthrough stock. First up then is NIO, and some already consider NIO to be the Tesla of China, although it's not as well known because it's less of a global player right now. They have seen an unbelievable 1,300% increase in their stock value from $3.72 in January to $53.69 today. Now, just let that sink in for a minute. A few years ago, China offered massive subsidies to jumpstart the country's electric vehicle industry, and the result was hundreds of homegrown contenders. And although the subsidies have since been extended, they have also been reduced. And what's left today is the cream of the crop, of which NIO is sitting above all others. Second quarter revenues were 526 million, up 140% since last year, and they achieved record quarterly deliveries with 10,331 cars, despite the challenges of coronavirus. Now, China is committed to making sure that new energy vehicles make up one fifth of their auto sales by 2025. And if this target is reached, it's likely that the bulk of those sales are gonna come from NIO. Outside of China, NIO is approaching the EV space in a completely different way to the likes of Tesla, whose business model is built on having to recharge a car whenever the battery gets low or whenever the battery dies. And this can take anywhere from one hour and 15 minutes on a Tesla supercharger up to 12 hours. NEO, on the other hand, are planning to set up shops all over the country, all over the world, which will allow you to hot swap your battery in under three minutes. Some are saying that this idea alone could be worth billions, and that's without the growth that they're experiencing and hoping to achieve in China in the coming years. NEO are not without their risks, however, as many Chinese companies in the past have been known for accounting malpractices, and they're already trading for a very high price in a potentially overvalued market. All right, and coming in at number two is a company called Rivian. And this is my favorite of all the companies that we're gonna look at today. Rivian were founded in 2009. They have over 1,000 employees and they have raised six billion as part of their super aggressive rollout plan to be the first electric pickup. They're also working on autonomous vehicles as well as vans. However, they are not yet publicly traded. So they're pre-IPO, but definitely one to watch in my opinion. As we all know, Tesla gets all of the headlines and they've already received over half a million orders for their new Cybertruck but it might be Rivian who actually bring the first electric pickup to market as early as next year. The reason I say this is because they've been working on it for longer than Tesla. They're actually further along in their production than anyone else. And they already have a 2.6 million square foot plant, including a paint shop, which puts them ahead of Tesla who are yet to complete the construction of their new Cybertruck plant um, somewhere in Texas, I believe. And one thing that I really love about this company is their approach where they don't mind Tesla, Ford, uh, General Motors getting all of the limelight because, and their CEO recently came out saying that they are focused on making sure that they deliver. 
and they really value active humility and letting their actions speak louder than their words. This CEO, by the way, doesn't even have an active Twitter account. And the reason that I like that so much is because you don't get many companies with Rivian's potential acting so modest. Amazon is just one of the titans already backing Rivian. They've already pre-ordered 100,000 delivery vans, of which they expect to have 10,000 on the roads by 2022. Their pickups, the R1S and the R1T, are expected to have a range of more than 400 miles, which is in line with Tesla's top model, the Model S. Individual customers can already pre-order their pickup with a $1,000 refundable deposit, and they have plans to sell direct to customers, just like Tesla, um, avoiding the traditional middleman route. All right then, next up is Nikola, a company mainly focused on commercial trucks powered by hydrogen. Nikola is a really exciting, but also really risky company to invest in. They're still pre-revenue, and in June this year, they were trading at $79 a share, making their market cap 30 billion. And you're probably thinking, no way. A company with no sales, no product, and no revenue can no way be worth that much. And that has actually come true, for now at least, as the stock has fallen 62% since then, including 16% on Wednesday alone. And that's after their CEO failed to reassure investors that their $2 billion deal with General Motors um, won't fall through. And they actually have until the 3rd of December, which I believe is about a week from now when recording this video, um, to strike a deal. Otherwise, both parties can walk away. Now, as well as their hydrogen commercial trucks, Nikola are also looking at producing electric pickups, just like Rivian and Tesla as well. And Nikola's pickups look much more like an average pickup that you would already see on the roads today, especially when comparing them to the Cybertruck. Also, Nikola were meant to be holding an event next month to reveal their Badger truck. However, this has now been canceled and it's been blamed on coronavirus. But timing might suggest that the uncertainty around their deal with General Motors might be the actual reason behind cancelling this event. As well, they also have prototype hydrogen-fueled ATVs and jet skis, but again, none of these have been produced yet. It seems as though Nikola's main obstacle at the moment is finding a partner to manufacture their vision. And if they can strike a deal with General Motors in the coming week, then we might see their stock pick back up. If not, who knows? All right then, moving on. The next company that could possibly become the next Tesla is Candy Technologies Group, a Chinese producer of electric cars. Now, aesthetically, these cars might not compare to Tesla or even the pickups that we've just looked at, but we're not looking at cars to buy, we're looking at companies who build these cars to invest in. So don't skip this section just because you don't like how these cars look. Shares in Candy this month have roared by 112%, and that is after they were given clearance from the Environmental Protection Agency to sell their cars in the US via their American subsidiary in Texas. The K27, their smallest model, has a suggested retail price of $17,499, with federal tax incentives of up to seven and a half grand, making it a very affordable $9,999 car. And I just love how they market their suggested retail price as a no haggle price. The K23's no haggle price is $27,499, again with federal tax incentives up to seven and a half grand, bringing it down to around $20,000, depending on your haggling skills at the base price. Now, no matter what your opinion of these cars is, there's no hiding that these will probably become the most affordable electric cars in the US. And their stock price already reflects the strides that they're taking in the EV space, seeing 370% growth in the last six months. All right, last but not least then is Workhorse. And Workhorse is a company that is already well known in the delivery space. Whilst most of the companies that I've mentioned today are fairly new to market, Workhorse has been around since 1998. They're currently focusing their efforts on their new C-Series all-electric delivery trucks and their Horsefly delivery drones. Their market cap is currently 3.3 billion, which a lot of people might be skeptical about. However, there are also still a lot of reasons to potentially invest in this company. And the main reason by far is that they're rumored to win the 8 billion United States Postal Service contract for 165,000 units of next generation delivery trucks. If one thing is for sure, that's if they do get this new contract, their stock price will definitely soar to new heights. As well, the new Biden administration is likely to at least restore, if not improve as well, the current trade relations with China. And this is good news for Workhorse, who get their raw materials, including lithium, as well as their production equipment from China. Okay, so they're my top five stocks to watch out for as the next Tesla in the EV space. And guys, you can get one free stock for signing up to Trading212 today. The link is down in my description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, give it a share, and I'll see you next time.